A new beer and a book deal centered around one man's encounter decades ago. It's a story not everyone will buy. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. At the time, you could say it caught the town of Ashland by surprise. A local cop said he saw and went inside a UFO. The man behind that sighting has since died, but new attention is brewing over his tail. Reporter John Kipper has the whole story. It got national attention to begin with. It was printed in newspapers, the National Enquirer, uh, throughout the United States. The story comes from an Ashland cop, Herbert Shermer, who said back in 1967 that aliens stopped in his town and brought him on board their ship. I came across this story of this alien encounter in Ashland, Nebraska. Started doing my research on it, ton of stuff came up. One of the things that were really unique about it was that this guy from L.A. made a comic book about it in 2011. The guy from L.A. is Michael Jasorka, a self-published comic book author and storyboard artist who took Shermer's verbal account and made it into a 50-page comic book. Sorka doesn't think of it as some fairy tale either. He was drawn into the story because of Shermer's credibility as a cop. The facts that he brings across in the storytelling are beyond a creative mind. They're too, they're too detailed, let's say. Local UFO experts Paul Breckenridge and John Booter told Jasorka what they know about the case. They say one reason they believe it to be true is others across the country told police of very similar circumstances. The extraterrestrials were absolutely identical and these were reported in police reports, not just a person coming forward and say, it happened to me. These were investigated by the local law enforcement. Whether it happened or not, the story is now in a revival. That's because Nebraska-based Kincader Brewery released a new beer this week, Star Snake Dank IPA, named after the extraterrestrial meeting. On the alien encounter, they had winged serpents. The aliens had winged serpents on their emblem. Throughout the week, Kincader and Jasorka have done a variety of events, including a book signing at High V Thursday, while Shermer is now dead and couldn't take part, his story lives on. We believe in the case. We really think that uh, it, it occurred with him. And now the book, December 3rd, 1967, An Alien Encounter, also has a unique feature, an audio disc that includes Herbert Shermer personally explaining his experience. In the studio, John Kipper, 3 News Now. Interesting backstory. Thanks, John.